Also tonight, a new order from the Centers for Disease Control now requires passengers aboard public transportation and commercial airplanes to put on a mask. Uh, NBC 4's Dan Perlman joining us now live from John Glenn International. Don, or Dan, forgive me, I, I know this changes things both in the air and, and on the ground as they arrive. Brad, it really does. You know, in the building here, the airport authority had required everyone six and up to wear masks since the summer. Now, this new order requires everyone two and up to wear one, and the changes to air travel do not stop there. If you're not wearing a mask here at John Glenn International, airport officials say they'll work with you. I will happily remind everybody to put your mask back on. Uh, if you don't have a mask, we'll, we'll get one to you. And if you refuse to wear one, Chris Pollock there tells me you'll be asked to leave. This is the CDC now requires face masks in airports and on airplanes. It's something the airlines have already required as passengers have noticed. And, you know, they go up and down repeatedly and they remind people gently. If a stewardess walks by, they're going to enforce it. And according to the Transportation Security Administration, it will still be up to the crew to use their discretion in handling those not wearing masks. But with the new order in place, the crew can turn to the TSA should a situation escalate. They can rest assured that they can always call TSA for support and then there can be some federal uh, penalties or action behind that now uh, versus just the uh, airline handling it um, as a customer service issue. And word from the TSA, the penalties for not wearing a mask vary while the agency is asking for voluntary compliance on the first day of the CDC's new order aimed at slowing the spread of COVID-19 in place. I do hope that this helps on some level. Safety first, right? I think it's important. Now, under this new order, a face mask is defined as anything that covers your nose and your mouth. So those face shields many of you may have or you've seen will not apply. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. Dan, thanks so much. All right, tonight.